Ooh, what's this? Dude, did somebody try to like dig somebody out? What is up fam? Welcome to another adventure. This adventure is a little bit different. Now, one thing that Tiff and I love to do when we hit the road is check and see if there's any unique cemeteries, maybe places that are popular, places that have been visited quite often. And right where we're at right now, it's called the Oakwood Cemetery. We're in Lynette, Alabama, and we're like an hour behind too. But this place is amazing. It happens to be one of the most visited cemeteries in all of the South, and for very good reason, there is a dollhouse. Now I'm gonna explain some of the story on the dollhouse. As soon as we get there, it's towards the front of the cemetery. Let's go. This cemetery is haunted. I have no idea about the haunted history, but in my opinion, every cemetery is haunted. I didn't care if you came to this video because you thought it was gonna be like a ghost hunting video, what I found very strange is the moment I spoke of this cemetery being haunted and not knowing about the haunted history, my mic started getting some interference and completely cut out. This is the only time in this video this happened. Why is there a brick on top of that headstone? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Maybe there were a mason? Now, the little girl that's buried here at this grave where this dollhouse is, she's also known as Nadine Earls. She died when she was only four years old in 1933. Just a week before Christmas, father had asked her, you know, hey, what do you want for Christmas? They were hoping that she'd pull through. In her exact words, she said, me want it now, and she wanted a dollhouse. So her father started constructing her this really beautiful dollhouse. She ended up dying of this very rare disease called diphtheria. It's a very rare infection, a serious infection. It makes it very difficult to breathe. So that original dollhouse was here, and it's not the one that we're going to see right now that dollhouse was put over her headstone and throughout time i'm not sure exactly how much time but it started rotting away because it was made out of wood and they later on constructed brick house over her headstone and it's right right up ahead we're going to get a closer look here in a second now the locals here they'll decorate this during christmas time and they'll make it very festive and they clean it up they do a great job yeah look this is julian's headstone right here and wow, man, look what it even says on his headstone. I mean, it was so important to him. You know, his little girl says, daddy of little Nadine. No father or mother should ever have to deal with the pain of burying their kids, let alone very young babies like this. I mean, Nadine was only four years old. Tiffany and I brought some stuff. I got this cute little stuffed animal. Look what it says. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. It's a prayer bear. Some people think when you look in there that it's a bed. It's not a bed. It's her actual headstone. So we'll, we'll get a closer look here in a second. We're going to leave this bear. Oh, cute. It's even got like a front porch and a mailbox. It legit is a little, a little dollhouse. That's Alma's grave. It looks like a bed. But... Oh my gosh. And it looks like they put stuff in there. There's probably original things in there that her parents had put down and yeah you could see right there just she died just a few days before Christmas December 18th wow this is so unique I could see why this is one of the most visited graves of the south now it's not uncommon like I guess there's a lot more of these dollhouse type graves and each and every one of them have its own unique story uh, this one definitely does it's really sad. Look what it says right there. It actually has the words from Nadine that, that she said when she was wanting her dollhouse. It said, me want it now. In heaven, we hope to meet again. Now, I know a lot of us parents, you know, we have little girls. I have a little girl. And when I was at the store a little bit ago in the kids section looking for toys, it broke my heart. Just, I mean, well, for one, my daughter is almost an adult now. And I remember those times where She'd be like, Daddy, can I get a little stuffed animal? Or, you know, she didn't, she wasn't into baby dolls. Baby dolls kind of freaked her out, but she loved dollhouses. What broke my heart the most was thinking that this father could never go to the store without being emotional ever again. I could imagine, I mean, for those of you that have lost children, especially at a really young age, you 
go through the the kids section and you see like little baby clothes it's got to be heartbreaking and that's one thing that it just it touched me i kind of I, I felt the father's pain uh julian i hope you're out there and you're spending a lot of time with with your wife and of course little nadine just uh so sad it's heartbreaking wonder if they had children like again if they had children more children wouldn't there be another headstone here i don't think they had any more children maybe it was still alive. it is possible because what she died in 81 yeah maybe they're yeah i don't know we'll have to do a little research on that leave this here for little nadine put it right down here if you come visit little nadine's dollhouse and you see the little bear here that, that was from tiffany and i i also got this broke my heart too because I, I i feel like Every little girl deserves to be a princess. Got her this little princess necklace. We'll put that up here somewhere. Uh, you know what? This is a perfect place for it. Bam. Well, I remember my little girl wearing like a little princess crown or tiara. Leave that for little Nadine. Put it over here. And of course, the princess wand. So we'll leave that too for little Nadine. Okay, I know we were saying that this wasn't going to be like a haunted type video, but Tiffany felt like some spider web feeling on her right now. And she had kind of told me off camera. That's what they say. They say that if a spirit is trying to touch you or get your attention, it almost feels like hair. Well, that's what I was looking for. Did you see me when I was holding the camera? I kept looking down like, yeah, I've seen you. My hair is back. Yeah, so, it is all pulled back. But there's nothing there. It hasn't, it's not doing it now that I talked about it. I mean, there are a couple spider webs on the house. Well, that's what I was looking at. That's this is so unique. I didn't see anything on camera. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I think it's interesting. For as long as I've wanted to come here, I mean, mainly just to visit little Nadine's cemetery. And I mean, if you look, it's not hard to miss. You see like the main road right there. If you're driving and, and trying to find the Oakwood, I, I think that's the name of it, Oakwood Cemetery. I mean, it's not hard to miss. It's right there, right off of the main road. Yeah, right there. I mean, sometimes when we go visit cemeteries, I mean, for example, the, the cemetery where the alien was buried, that was hard to find, and especially we did it in the middle of the night. And what was the other cemetery? The one with the stairs, mm -hmm. Mississippi? That was a little difficult to find too. By the way, if you enjoy videos like this where we check out unique cemeteries, I mean, I do a lot of traveling, Tiffany and I, and this is one thing that we love is seeing something that's just really unique and, and kind of mysterious and, and weird. I mean, you can't tell me that people driving down the street that maybe have never heard of the little Nadine's dollhouse story will drive down the street and want to come just because of their own curiosity and check out that little dollhouse and maybe go online. And I mean, if you were driving and you seen that dollhouse. Yeah, I would want to stop. I would, I would definitely. I mean, just because we like that stuff. I mean, you wouldn't have watched this video if you weren't curious. Being that this is so close to Florida and I do a lot of research, I, I did. Every time we travel, I never get to go this way and we don't get to check out the the dollhouse cemetery same thing with the the one in mississippi with the stairs yeah. yeah that was another place that i've been wanting to visit for years finally got to do it just a few months back and the video did very well if you don't know what i'm talking about be sure to check out that video pretty cool so this is the forest that we heard some screaming now i did walk over there a little bit ago there's a ginormous spider web if you know anything about spider webs I feel like they're less visible during the day because at nighttime, if you have any sort of good lighting, it's going to sort of glow. And you can see one. that one. Luckily, it has this little piece of pine straw hanging. Looks like people do walk back here because there's some stuff. Can you see that on the camera? It almost yeah. looks like Charlotte's Web. I'm going to see if I can put my finger right through that. Oh, it's like... Oh, yeah, there's this pine straw right there. Oh, I'm not going to ruin your web because I'm sure that spider's somewhere and it's going to return as soon as it finds something fell for its clickbait. Yeah, there was like <sighs> screaming coming from in there and we pulled up. Kind of reminded me of that time we were in the Monroe, Connecticut. What was the name of that cemetery? Stepney. Stepney Cemetery. Could never find the Union Cemetery where the lady goes around the tombstones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look for it everywhere. Can't find it. Look at this area over here there's like only two graves over there and we spotted a little bit earlier what was that 
Someone must live back there. In the woods? Maybe. I mean, there's houses lined over here. But over here, it's just a big thing. <laughs> now, just a second ago, when we were recording with no audio, Tiffany spotted like some black smoke behind us. And then I heard sirens, of course, so our audio wasn't able to catch that. But there seems to have been a really bad fire. I mean, sometimes you could see smoke and it looks like it's close, but it's actually really far away. So it must have been beyond those trees over there. This cemetery is big. Hey, their last name is Pool. Cool. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Sound like something big walking back there. I wonder if there's there's probably some homeless people back there. Maybe. maybe. Because even from the other side, it's like a long block size thing of woods. I heard a car door, so there must be a house or something on the other side of these trees. I feel like every cemetery is creepy. I can imagine what this place is like at nighttime. Imagine if little Nadine's dollhouse was back. I'm, I'm actually glad that it's closer to the road. Imagine if some people had came here and, I don't know, sadly destroyed it, you know? Closer to the road too, it gives people more of like an, they're gonna see it and they're gonna look her up and they're gonna hear her story. And then they're gonna, because there are some heartless people out there that will vandalize really unique cemeteries or some graves like that. You know those people were one day in the middle of the night opening their fridge, getting a glass of water and seeing something walking out here. <laughs> oh look, there's the town water tower, Lynette. Oh, I see a house. There is a house over there. Hey Adam, where are the kids? Oh, they're just out back playing at the cemetery. So when we first got to the entrance of the cemetery, we were a little confused because it said no through traffic. And at first Tiffany thought to herself, are we not supposed to drive in here? But yeah, no through traffic means you can't use these little roads to go to and it makes, <laughs> yeah. And you could see that there is another street back there. I have seen a couple cars while we've been here going through. I've seen a white truck on the, like just a couple cemetery roads down. What is this one up here? Oh, this is some, somebody just passed away. Aww. That's so sad. Okay, so Kenneth passed away and they had this stone made for him and for Shirley. And it has her birth date on it, but it doesn't have her death date. And I have seen that before where it shows the, the birth date, especially on a headstone like this where it's two people buried together. You can see there's a fire truck and that's so sad. She must have just passed away and they have not yet engraved that part of the stone showing her death date and looks like it was pretty recent. May you guys rest in peace. Does it ever occur to you that, I mean, we, oh wow, that's so unique. We're going to see something really cool here in a second. But sometimes people look at death as such a terrible thing and death can be terrible, especially for the people that you leave behind. But does not occur to you if you're if you're a believer in life after death and you know, I'm not telling anybody to believe in, in what I believe. Everybody has their own belief system and a lot of people do believe in life after death. But in those stories, especially people that have had near death experiences, what do they have all, all in common? You know, they were at peace. They were somewhere where they didn't want to return back to living, you know? So in essence, some of these people that, of course, we, we feel bad for because some of them have died young, didn't get to experience life. They're living a much better life than we are. That's what we believe. Like, what do I always say to get me through death? Do you, you remember what I always try to tell myself? Mm. There must be a football game going on, like a college Sounds game. like it. So I always say like, if those people had a chance to come back, like the opportunity to come back, they'd laugh because where they are is far better than where we are. Exactly. I was watching this YouTube video of this guy and he was in his 60s and he had a near death experience when he was like in his 20s. He described everything. I mean, it was it was insane. Like all the I'm going to try to find that video and leave a link down below so you can watch it. It was a really, really intriguing. video. This guy's story was amazing and it made him live a completely different life. And it gave, you know, that fear that all of us have of one of one time dying, you know, because it's really the only thing that 
all of us that are here living have never experienced. Some people can explain what it's like that, that have had, you know, near death experiences. It's up to you whether to believe them or not. I do believe a lot of these people's experience of being true, but they were at peace. They didn't want to come back. They didn't want to come back to this life. Like what they experienced was amazing. It was beautiful. It was, it was peaceful. It was very peaceful. It was this, this state of peace that they have never had in their life before. And I just, I think that's so cool. Let's take a look at this. Cause this looks really, really awesome. Wow. You can still see smoke a little bit behind those trees. Wow, this is so cool. You would think that this is what Walt Disney's grave would have been like. And I'll tell you what, I've visited Walt Disney's grave in California and it's just a, a very simple plaque. That's it. There, it has this little corner, but I thought it could be a little bit more dressed up for the man that has brought so much joy and, and happiness to people's lives. That goes along with what we just explained. Exactly. Wings. Your wings were ready, but our hearts were not. Aww. The person that's taking care of this, you can see the love. I mean, it just radiates throughout this whole area right here. They even have a little bird bath. That's so cool. I thought I seen a little little boy like just standing there. See, I see people use this as a kind of like a, a cut. They cut through the cemetery. Every one of them deserve their houses oh, to yeah. be haunted. There's the fire. And it look right here, babe. You can see it? Right there. Straight across. Oh yeah. And it's still going. Because yeah. in case people didn't know, when you see black smoke, that means the fire is is steadily burning, like it's newly burning. But when the fire when the smoke is white, that means the fire is being put out. That's the end of the cemetery. You could see it goes to another street. It's very large. It's cool. I don't think I've ever been to a cemetery that looked quite like this. It looks like it's small, but it's very large. It looks could be deceiving. One thing I've learned is if there is something neat at a cemetery, there's always something else that's pretty neat too. Well, this was it. I mean, look at, oh, look at, there's a picture. Oh, her name was Peggy Ann. She liked the Alabama football for college. The Crimson Tide. She has your Oh, I love those. Coke. Yeah, glass Cokes and the glass bottles, they're life. This is so cool. You can smell that smoke now. You can smell it, yeah. Rest in peace, Peggy. So when we were in Mississippi and we found that grave that had the stairs that go to the little girl's grave, that's a really cool story, by the way. Uh, this mom, I think her daughter was a little older than, than Nadine. She was, what, like 10, nine or 10? So this little girl, she was really scared of thunderstorms and things like that. So her mom built her this stairway for, so she could go visit her daughter. And this used to have a little window where she could look in and, and see her daughter's crypt. And during thunderstorms, she would read to her daughter when her daughter was alive. So she would actually go during thunderstorms. And even though her daughter passed on, she would go and read her stories. And she built these doors over the, the stairs and she would close herself in whenever the storms would get all crazy. And she did this, you know, for years and years. Eventually they closed off the window to keep, you know, just keep it safe from vandals and stuff. And they put like a, a concrete wall up there it was probably after the woman had passed away but in that same cemetery was an angel that sometimes will turn her head and she looks over these girls that were a part of a fire it was a very sad gas explosion that happened and the owner of the building ended up paying for their burials and he felt terrible about it the girls were all under i think 20 years old and that was at the same cemetery in mississippi where you know the stairs to the little girl was. So I'm here looking and see if I see anything else out of the ordinary. Yeah, Peggy Ann's. Yeah. But there's probably some other stuff. I wonder if people do go like ghost hunting here at this cemetery at nighttime. Some spirit box sessions with little Nadine, maybe with her parents and stuff. We're not gonna do that in this video at least. Maybe we'll do it in the future. Let me know if you wanna see something like that. It's like a little troll hole. Busted. Somebody using the cemetery road as a through traffic. So as we're walking towards 
the dollhouse again, Tiffany spotted something pretty unique. You know, if you look around, you see a lot of grass, occasional flowers being planted, but nothing like this. This whole area has these what are they called? red flowers. I'm not sure what those are called. But yeah, someone had to have planted these and maybe they come back every summertime or fall. Well, we are in the fall now. You think somebody did that? I hope not. Now, there's people that do that. They'll come and vandalize cemeteries and graves. I feel like those people have major hauntings going on at their house, like bad ones. Ooh, what's this? Dude, did somebody try to like dig somebody out? What the heck? That looks like the size of a shovel right there. What? Yeah, this person, I mean, it's not like it's a fresh burial. That was in 2017. Dude, both of these people, they died literally just days before their own birthdays. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that person died on my mom's birthday. Oh, rest in peace, guys. Let me, let me fix this here. It's a little plant. We're going to walk back to Nadine's dollhouse, the forever dollhouse. Looks like just over there, they're doing some excavating. There's like a little kid over there. Is that like a little kid? Yeah, but he's got a work glove, so. But yeah, they're they're digging a hole, probably getting somebody ready for burial. Sad. Okay, one thing that I did miss the first time I was here, come check this out. There's an actual family name right here. This it. must be the actual entrance of the Earl's family plot, cemetery mm -hmm. plot. This is in really good shape, too. I'm wondering how long the original dollhouse lasted. And it was the actual dollhouse that he had built for his daughter. You know, of course, for his daughter when she came back home. So they were thinking, and they used it to put over her her plot or her, her headstone. But yeah, after some time had went on, that kind of rotted away from the weather. So we do get some crazy weather here, a lot of humidity in Alabama. But there's nothing online showing when they put this up was it like 10 years later was it 20 years later I'm not sure and was julian a part of this construction i'm thinking so but it's in great condition people take good care of it hope you enjoyed today's video of little nadine's dollhouse i thought this was awesome it was a great adventure just being here and telling you some of the stories if you're ever in you know the south alabama georgia even some parts of florida it's not that far of a drive it's definitely worth coming it's a free place to come to if you like history if you like strange and mysterious things this is definitely strange and mysterious because it's it's uncommon it's uncommon to see a house at a cemetery like this but the story that is behind it is all love and i love that glad i got to share it with you before you leave though give me a kiss peace